This is your pal, Gadgeto, and of course, that's not my real voice, but it is me, your pal, Sal, guys, and what we have today is a few kitchen items from Wish, and we're going to rate them from 0 to 10. 0 being the worst, 10 being the best, but it's only one test, that's all, so let's get this started. Gadgetzel. Welcome back to Gadget Sal, guys, and of course, we have a few Wish kitchen items here today, and the first one is going to be this one right over here which as you can see, it's a big whisk. And also at the same time, once I release it with this lever, check it out. They become a gigantic pair of tongs. All right, guys, here we go. We have the pot here and I'm gonna start off here by showing you what this looks like really quick. So as you guys can see, it does have teeth on the end and I'll lock it in place. So once it's locked in place like this, it doesn't open. Once you slide this open, this lever here, Slide it up, it opens up, and it's spring action. I have a pot full of vegetables, so let's say you just want to stir it. You're cooking, and you just want to stir it. You insert this thing, and you can stir it. You see, I filled it up with a lot of vegetables because I'm going to grab them right now. So that's basically it. I mean, you can whisk it around, stir it around, and then when you're finished, let's say stirring the pot a little bit, and you want to grab some of the vegetables, some of the meat, without having to grab any of the broth. Now the, the whisk turns into the tongs, and you grab whatever you want to grab, and it drips everything out, and you release it. So let's do it again. Grab it. Come over here, release it. And it's really, really easy to use since it's spring-loaded, guys. It just goes right in. It grabs whatever you want to grab, releases all the broth, and there it is. So let's say grab something, right? And then you can lock it in place, like right there, it's locked in place and it's not gonna come out until you slide it up and it'll release itself. So the teeth are gonna grip everything. Since it has all these openings, it's gonna let out the broth. And of course, it's a gigantic whisk. So I'm gonna grab a couple of eggs so we can whisk them up. All right, guys, so here we go. I'm gonna close this up, slide this down and it's gonna hold in place and it creates that whisk here that you see. And we already have a couple of eggs in this bowl, guys. So here we go. Let's see if it actually works. It's made out of plastic material. So it is basically plastic, which is a little bit weird. It is whisking the eggs. It's mixing them up. Check it out. That's pretty cool. I mean, you can also technically just roll it around like this and it's gonna whisk the eggs. Check that out, guys. I'm gonna give the whisk and tongs here, guys, a 7.6. I think that's a good score for what this thing does and for how it's made. It is very cheaply made. I'll give you guys a look right over here. It's very cheaply made. The plastic is pretty thin and very, very bendable, as you can see here. It came broken already when it was shipped, and I'll separate it that way you guys can see. Right there, it was broken already. But it did do a good job of doing what it said it was going to do. The spring action is actually pretty strong. And I do like that once you close it and you slide this little lever over, it does become this whisk. So 7.6, I think that's a very good score for what this thing does. And the next one here, guys, is a little bit strange. And I think they tried to shape it like a dolphin. See? A little fin on top and a little uh, nose in the front. But yeah, what this is, a peeler. So you have essentially an apple peeler here in the front. This here, this little fin, which is pretty sharp, is for oranges. You peel oranges with this side and you peel apples with this side. So that's what we're gonna do. So here we go, right on top here, like this, and then just follow along all the way to the bottom. I hope I made a straight line, doesn't look like it, but <laughs> so that's the first line there, all the way to the bottom. Here's the uh, second one here, all the way through to the bottom. And now the peel is essentially supposed to come off very easily. So we'll grab a piece of peel. Uh, I guess not that easy. Oh, wow. That's really easy. So we'll do the next one here. Oh, wow, guys. This does work really well. This is pretty cool. And one whole slice there. Check that out, guys. They come out in big whole pieces. Check this out. That's another one right over here. So for the most part, they did come out in whole pieces, whole slices. Now let's try the apple. Let's see if that works, which is this blade right on top. Is You put your finger through it like this, and you're supposed to push forward. I guess we'll start from the top. 
Let's see if I can just go around it. So we're just going to dig into it a bit. Bunch of juice coming out. So it's kind of splashing me in the face. A long slice. We're going to go this way really quickly. Here we go. It's working, but it's really messy, guys. I mean, maybe I'm pushing too hard. I'm going to try to push less hard. Okay, that's better. I'm going to try to dig less into it. Oh, okay. So you kind of have to follow the shape of the actual apple. So we'll do it again. See? So you follow the shape of the apple. It is working. But since it's such a small, thin blade, it's not that wide, it'll take a very long time for you to peel an apple. About four minutes, guys. I don't like that. But the orange peel part does work. The apple peel part, it just took a very long time and it took a bunch of little chunks out of it. I'm going to give this thing, guys, a 6.7. It is made really tough, really hard plastic, and it has a nice blade there in the front for the apple it just took a bunch of chunks off and it took a really long time just to peel an apple when you go over an orange guys with this sharp little edge here and you cut many different quarter slices or eighth slices all over the place and you just peel they really do come off barely even have to dig your fingernails into the orange but it does work this thing that slices the orange peel does work guys so I think that's a very good score for it, 6.7. I wish the apple part would have worked better, but it just snags too much. It really doesn't work that good since it's so small. Next one. By the way, guys, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss any more future gadget videos. Now let's continue with this one right over here, which is called the Neji Cutter. As you guys can see, the blades there, they're really thin, really sharp. This is a shallot and green onion cutter here. It has seven blades and they're extremely sharp guys. And it's just a white handle and it does have a cover. So when you're done, just cover this up. That way nobody gets cut. When you want to use it, open this up and here are the blades. And I already got my cutting board placed right on top. By the way, does everybody's cutting board look like this? Or is it only mine? <laughs> a bunch of scratches, kind of dark in some places, even though you washed it a billion times. So here we have some green onions right over here, guys. Hopefully this thing slices up this green onion. So just basically slide it over and that just looks like mush. But we're going to do it again. And let's see. It's saying it's supposed to slice it and a bunch of pieces are supposed to come out. And I'm not seeing that big slices of this green onion and did it cut it nope essentially what this is supposed to do guys is cut six slices it's supposed to cut them like this six slices like this every time you pass the blade kind of slicing off a big whole chunk and it's kind of turning it into this mushed up green onion it also said that we could cut it long ways this way so yeah it'll do that check it out guys bunch of slices I still kind of have to pull them apart. So that means the blades are not that sharp, but it did cut a bunch of little slices, you see? We'll do it one more time. Whoa, thinner slices. This is giving you even more work because it's not really cutting all the way through. There is smaller slices, but it just kind of looks mm, not that pleasing. I'm gonna give this Neji green onion cutter from Wish Guys a 2.2. This thing sucks. This thing does not work for me. I mean, every time I was trying to slice six slices, single slices with this blade, it did not do it. It would just mush it up. Even though I kind of changed my angle a different way, it did work for slicing long ways this way. Most people are gonna want the little circular pieces, right? It did not do that at all. It would just mush the pieces over and over. And even if it would slice, it wouldn't slice all the way through. It would still be a long piece with six little separate I guess slivers you could say but they wouldn't come apart they would still be kind of stuck together it is all made out of plastic until you get to the blades which are made out of steel 2.2 that's a good score for this thing next one the can do compact can opener from wish right over here guys it's made out of steel here where it opens the cans and the rest of it is made out of plastic on the outside it does have this little lever here so when you turn it, it you turn it from the top here and it does have grips on the side so you can place your fingers here and grip it and then turn it and it does have this little button here that way you can release the top of the can after you open it so let's try that out right now let's open some cans you place it on top right here and then what you're supposed to do is start to twist it here when you twist the mechanism it's going to lock automatic 
See, it's automatically gonna lock in place and then you twist it and it's gonna cut the can open all the way through. And then the way you release the top is you press this little button here and the little mechanism opens. We're gonna place this right on top of the can like this guys, see what it does. I hope this thing works. Whoa, that's kind of weird. I hope it's opening it. Let's turn it this way. Let's grip it here and let's give it a turn. Oh, that's pretty cool. I hope it's opening the can because I don't see anything. I don't know if it did or if it didn't, but I think it did already, maybe. So I see the can kind of open. Oh, <laughs> wow. Check this out, guys. And it's there stuck on the compact can opener. And let me feel this here. This can is extremely sharp. And I can see a piece of shard right here, a shard of... Uh, of metal so I'll get this a little bit closer there's a shard of metal right over here and this can is very sharp so be very careful if you do happen to buy this I mean it it worked and once you're done see how it's locked into place you're supposed to press this button right over here you press it and it drops the top that's pretty cool guys and it resets itself we'll try a gigantic vegetable can here and we'll start to turn it it's really easy to turn, just like a regular can opener. I do like that, and it goes all the way around, of course. It doesn't feel as if it's cutting it at all. I already turned it like three times there, and did it do anything? No, nothing, guys. I don't see it open at all. Maybe this can is too thick for this can opener. I'm going to release it, and let's try it again. If you're turning this thing multiple times, I mean, you might as well just use a regular can opener, and you only have to do it once, not multiple times. Okay, so it did open it. There's very sharp pieces right over here. That way you guys can see that it does different size cans. We'll give it a turn, and let's just start turning this thing. Uh-oh, it got stuck, guys. Don't tell me this thing broke already. I don't know, guys. This thing basically broke. It did kind of open it, but I still had to pry it open, guys, and that's not what it said you had to do in the instructions. I would be kind of scared that these little pieces of metal shards would be inside of your peas. A 1.4 for this can do compact can opener, guys. You guys seen. It worked for the first can very, very good. You twisted it. The cap just popped off and it gripped it and then you released it. I did like that. It did work really well for the first can, but the second and the third can... I don't know what happened. I think it just broke right in the middle of it, guys. Maybe the blade is too dull here, or maybe the grip to this thing when it's grabbing the can, it's just not strong enough. It is made out of metal here. It, it's all plastic all over the place, but it just broke after essentially the first can. It did open the cans, the second and, th and the third one, but you had to pry them open. Why would I want to do that? I mean, if it's supposed to cut all the way around, why would I want to pry them open? If you're going to keep this as an emergency, fine but I wouldn't even buy this in the first place. So 1.4, that's a good score for this thing. I wouldn't recommend it at all. Next one. And the next one right over here, guys, is called the Roto Peeler. And it's a three-in-one peeler head. And it says it does serrated, wavy, and chipping. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna open this up and let's check this out. It is green, black, and of course, it is made out of all plastic and it has a very nice grip here. Feels like it's non-slip. I know it's called the Roto Peeler, but this Roto Peeler is not automatic. You still have to do it yourself. I think they called it Roto Peeler because the blade head here, it rotates, you see? So anytime you wanna switch the blade, you turn it and it switches the blade so you can get a different style of peel. So this is pretty cool. So we're gonna try these out and let's see what each of them does. This little sharp piece here, well, it's not sharp. It's just like a little nub to dig out unwanted pieces, I guess, on your potato, like dark spots. And then also, I was surprised, this side here, this little sharper edge here, and it's a lot flatter, it's an orange peel cutter. So we're gonna grab an orange and we're gonna cut the peel like we did with that very small one that we had. The regular one first. This is the regular blade on the roto peeler. And it does work. It's just like a regular peeler. So it does peel the carrot really good. Actually, really, really good. It, uh, it's actually even a very thick peel. I'm going to turn it to this one here. Blades at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then at the top, of course, it's, it's just a regular peeler. But at the bottom, I guess that's where it's going to slice it first. And then it's going to peel it 
right on top. So let's try that with this carrot here too. Let's see what it does. I don't even, oh wow. It makes these small little slivers. Check that out guys. So let's just keep going. Let's see how many we can make. Wow, this is pretty cool. Whoa. <laughs> if you want it for like, I guess, uh, your pasta or something or a salad, this is a lot of slivers, a lot of little long pieces. This is pretty cool. I do like that. Here's the next one. And let's see what it does. Whoa, that's kind of weird. Ah, I can't grip it that much anymore. But it is cutting wavy pieces. Okay, so check this out, guys. It's cutting wavy pieces. So if you have like a potato and you want to cut uh, wavy potato slices, it'll cut wavy pieces. This is pretty cool. I do like this. If you want wavy pieces of potato, this is pretty cool. Check this out, guys. Really nice, really wide here, really wavy. We know that the regular peeler is going to work, so you have to be kind of soft with it. So it does peel your potato, see? Whoa, I guess if you want to make like hash browns or something, guys, in the morning, that you can cut potatoes and look at all these little long slivered pieces look at that long pieces for hash browns that's what i would cut these for now we're going to try and dig out this dark piece here with the little edge here guys let's see if that works will it work let's see and it did work check that out guys here is the dark piece and here is the hole where it was at and the last thing that we're going to try guys is the orange slicer part like the other one we're gonna slice into it like this move all the way down we're gonna do this one just really quick just to make sure that it does work i like that it has a handle so you can just move along see kind of grab it and i'm hoping it's like the other one yes it works really good guys check that out check this out that's so cool and the last piece there the orange is peeled I'm going to give the Roto Peeler a 7.5, guys. It does cut the long pieces for hash browns. It does cut wavy pieces if you want to make potato chips from potatoes. And it does peel really good. This, the orange slicer, also did work. The dark spot remover for the potatoes also worked. It is all made out of plastic. And the rotating part of the head, it does work. And it kind of does lock into place but it doesn't at the same time because if you give it enough pressure here if you put enough pressure it will turn the other way around so i did not like that but that's why i give it a 7.5 because in the end it does do what it needs to do but once you get to a wide enough potato let's say the head is gonna move just a bit so just keep that in mind in case you are thinking about purchasing something like this guys but it does work and i do like it 7.5 that's a good score for this thing Guys, this is your pal Gadgetso here again, and these were just a few Wish Kitchen items you can purchase right now. My favorite one was the Roto Peeler right over here, and the tongs and whisker right over there. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any more future gadget videos. Comment down below and check out this video right over here to see some more gadgets tested in Discord. And remember, one test, that's all. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.